The United Church of Canada has committed to becoming an anti-racist church. What might this mean for all of us in terms of white supremacy and white privilege? United Church leaders share their insights. While it may be uncomfortable, there is still significant work to be done to dismantle white supremacy in the church. In order for the church to be anti-racist, we believe that members must learn to recognize racism, call it out, and confront white privilege. There is white supremacy in the United Church. White privilege is privilege of the white people due to their race and their color of the skin. And the privilege here is an unearned asset uh, or the power that is not um, that they earned and yet they can easily automatically kind of use and cash out, so to speak. There was a session on uh, residential school survivors. So uh, I, I went there along with another, another uh, Aboriginal elder. And uh, there was this one person that got up and said, we don't have any problems with, with the residential school issue because we, we, and uh, that we don't need to discuss it in our church because we never had any residential schools in our area. So to me, if you belong in United Church and you have a history of residential schools, you should belong to that problem too and not say, we never had it in our area, so why should we you know, be involved in that? Our starting point is to admit that there is a problem and the problem among us is a problem of racism. And so we are going to make a commitment to deal with all the issues of the structure and power and privilege. As we think about white privilege, white supremacy, racism within the context of the United Church of Canada, I think that our own personal experiences become absolutely vital to understanding our corporate experience. They carry those white body in this world, and the world is built normalizing white people as the standard, as the good, as the you know most virtuous and capable of, at the expense of those who don't carry that body. The fact that I was having a hard time even articulating my own thought in Korean, my first language, uh, is, is the very evidence that we are living in very Anglo-centric, white, dominant world, that I almost lost my own language. I've been talking to a lot of people from different, uh, my friends from different parts of the country, is how do you say United Church in your language? Because to us, to me, in, uh, in Garden Hill, it's called the uh, which means white church. As our times change, it starts to stick out as a sore, sore thorn on my side to hear me say, I belong to the white church. And I hope someday we could change that, that we could change the name, which, which would uh, sound better for us Aboriginal people.